For the past two years, I've been out of the loop on what's happening with Cody in the Cody ecosystem. I know they have their Cody V2 upgrade coming, and so I've been doing more research on the ecosystem, getting myself caught up. Now, I still hold a, a Cody bag, about 20,000 Cody, from 2021 when I initially bought the project. It was doing really well back then, and I wanted to catch myself up, and I know if I'm thinking this way, there's probably other people out there thinking this way as well. So this is what's happening with Cody, and it's version two upgrade that's gonna be happening in Q4 of 2024, basically the end of this year. Currently, Cody is its own technical blockchain. It does its own thing. It's not really tied to Ethereum, but it's its own blockchain running on proof of trust, the proof of trust mechanism, trust chain is what they call it, and multi-DAG block structure. So the way that their nodes and their validators work is that they accumulate trust, and then those with more trust verify more transactions because they can be trusted. They also run on the multi-DAG structure where they're, it's like block DAG, it's like Casper, where they're, it's not really a linear blockchain, but multiple blocks being synced at the same time and being ordered based on the DAG structure. So that's what Cody currently is, it's version one. It's its own blockchain, but in Cody V2, this prime upgrade that they're working on that's gonna be happening in Q4 of this year that I think is actually going to be shocking for the Cody network because of the Ethereum L2 narratives that we're gonna see happen, this is going to bring three things. This upgrade is gonna bring three things to Cody. It's gonna bring garbled circuits, GC EVM and decentralized sequencing. With the Cody V2 upgrade, not only are they changing these three things and adding it to the network, but they're going away from being their own blockchain. They've decided that that model is not the best model for them. And instead, with the Cody V2 upgrade, they're going to become one of three Ethereum L2s that are privacy focused. So with the Cody V2 upgrade, not only is Cody adding some new features, but it is going to become privacy end to end. It's going to become lighter, faster, and more secure. It's going to become EVM compatible. And then it's going to be a major Ethereum L2 that is focused solely on privacy and this privacy narrative. There's not a lot of competition in the L2 space for this privacy focused L2 for Ethereum. There's only three block, three L2s currently focusing on privacy for Ethereum and Cody is one of them. And I wanna make another video diving into the other two blockchains that are doing the Ethereum L2 privacy focused stuff. I think we should compare the three, but I hold Cody. I wanted to get updated on it and this is what the update is happening. The earlier things that we mentioned, the core upgrades to Cody for Cody V2, the garbled circuits, decentralized sequencing, and GC EVM. Those are the three big things I wanna talk about in this video. Essentially, garbled circuits are going to make the biggest impact to the Cody blockchain. Um, yeah, moving to an Ethereum L2 is a huge upgrade, but garbled circuits are probably one of the most innovative things in the privacy-focused uh, smart contract world right now. And what those allow Cody to do is to get lighter, faster and more secure. And it really allows for end-to-end -end privacy of smart contracts on the Cody blockchain or the Cody Ethereum L2. You can think of garbled circuits as like, you and I, we both know how much money we have. We don't wanna tell each other how much money we have, but we want to be able to verify that you and I have the amount of money that we know that we have. The smart contracts in garbled circuits allow for us to verify that you have your amount of money and I have my amount of money without each other knowing that certain amount of money. It's also like, I know my iPhone password, you know your iPhone password. We don't share our passwords, but we can show each other that we can unlock our phone. This is garbled circuits and basically end-to-end -end privacy where multiple parties can interact and prove that they know these things without sharing the information with each other. GC EVM is going to basically allow Cody to be EVM compatible. EVM compatibility is a huge thing. Um, basically blockchains or L2s do this to work with Ethereum, to take some of Ethereum's liquidity, have its developers and users, but also to make their blockchain like more streamlined into the modern day crypto narrative. When you're doing your own blockchain, building your own blockchain, it you have to really build from the ground up in all these narratives. But with EVM compatibility, you have more access to smart contracts, developers, liquidity, USDC, USDT, all the things that make a blockchain good. Ethereum's done the heavy lifting with marketing and Cody and a lot of other L2s are going to utilize that to their best advantage with EVM compatibility. Lastly, decentralized sequencing is going to be the third major upgrade happening to Cody for its version two upgrade. And what that means is uh, sequencing in an Ethereum L2 is when you send the transactions from the L2 to the L1, that's that's sequencing, sending it from like Cody or Base or all these other L2s down to the Ethereum mainnet to get validated on Ethereum's chain for its consensus. When you have sequencing, a lot of the L2s like Base chain are centralized sequencing. There can be on and off switches 
as those L2 transactions go to the L1. What Cody, since it's a fully private blockchain, end-to-end -end privacy and end-to-end -end encryption via garbled circuits, what Cody is going to do is make that sequencing decentralized. So the third big thing that they're pushing is decentralized sequencing. And what this will mean is that all the transactions going from the L2, Cody's L2, down to the Ethereum mainnet, their L1, they will be decentralized and nobody can turn them on or off. If you're into privacy, this is you know essentially a function of your freedom. And if you're in privacy, decentralized sequencing is a must have. So Cody being a decentralized end-to-end -end privacy based L2 on Ethereum will have to have decentralized sequencing so that nobody's transactions can be censored from the L2 to the L1. It only makes sense. Now, as I was doing all that research, gathering all that information, I was also in the back of my mind thinking, hey, I'm a US citizen. I don't get to stake into the cool Cody treasury. I don't get to use the Viper wallet. I don't get to use a lot of the things that everyone else gets to use. I don't get to earn an APY on my Cody via the treasury, all that cool stuff. I know they're actually doing a pretty big airdrop, like 40 million Cody or something right now. So I'm an awesome US resident who doesn't get to do any of that. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, uh, does my Cody get transferred to Cody V2 when that happens? How does this all work? And the way that Cody, their team, the Cody Foundation has described to, you know, the community is that if you are, you know, out in Europe or in some place where you can use the treasury and use the Viper wallet, you can just stake it and they will automatically upgrade you to the new Cody, I think. Um, but Cody is essentially, whether you're US or European based or any other place based, it's going to be one to one redeemable between the current Cody and the Cody V2. So I don't think they're really having like a token upgrade. I think they might just have to have it one-to-one -one exchangeable or it's going to be the same token. But as someone right now who doesn't get to use the treasury and use the Viper wallet, um, I w it was a concern in the back of my mind of what is going to happen with the Cody that I own. Do I have to do anything with it to get it to the V2, the Ethereum L2? Um, what's the situation there? And from what I can understand is that it is going to be one-to-one -one redeemable. Also, based on my understanding, with this upgrade, moving Cody to an Ethereum L2 via the version two upgrade that they're doing, I think US, US investors might be able to stake to the treasury and the Viper wallet because of the decentralization aspects of it. Whereas like currently, if you're going to stake or use the treasury, there's kind of like KYC involved or something like that. But when it moves to an L2, US-based users might have more access to it. I'm not 100% certain here. I still think there's a lot of uh, information to be given to the community about the uh, token update or the L2 when, or the Cody V2 upgrade via the tokens and the treasury and how that's gonna work. But I think USA-based people might have more opportunity when that goes live because of the certain decentralization and privacy-focused items, all right? so. That is Cody V2. That's this huge, shocking upgrade that's gonna happen. And I think this is really going to be good for the Cody community. The reason I think that Cody has the potential to do super well or do, you know, be a narrative in this next, in this current bull run that we're in is that the Ethereum ETF is getting approved. It's getting approved. I'm waiting for Fidelity to release that Ethereum ETF so I can invest a little bit into it. Um, but Ethereum has always been a big player, and I think with like Base Chain and all these other Ethereum L2s doing well, I think there will be people that will want to move from like Base Chain profits or Meme Coin profits or Ethereum profits, and some people will be focused on the privacy version of Ethereum L2s. I don't think last cycle we really had a lot of information on uh, privacy focused Ethereum L2s. I think that could be an important narrative, especially as the Ethereum ETF gets approved, more money's flowing into Ethereum, more money's flowing into altcoins. I don't see a scenario where Ethereum getting an ETF and having more liquidity and having more users and base chain growing, I don't see a scenario where the top Ethereum privacy focused L2 does not do well also. So that's kind of the bet I'm making with Cody. I think privacy is important. Um, not everyone likes privacy in crypto, right? Some people just want Bitcoin or just want Ethereum or want base chain or want meme coins. But I think there will be a subset of people who think that the Ethereum L2 narrative, the privacy focused Ethereum L2 narrative, like Cody and the other two, is important. I think that will drive uh, price action for Cody. So I'm watching the Ethereum ETF. I think that information trickles down into L2s, which trickles down into the privacy focused L2s, which I think will benefit Cody. And I think especially with this upgrade that's happening, once the upgrade does happen, I think that will be good for Cody price action. Um, I really hope that Q4 is going to be great for Cody and they do the upgrade and it goes well so they can become a privacy focused Ethereum L2, all right? That's my Cody video. I do hold Cody. 
Uh, this is the research I've done. You know, I haven't been watching it for the past couple years during the bear market. I kind of fell out of the ecosystem, fell out of the community on Twitter, but I recently joined back in after doing this, this information and doing this upgrade and just doing some research on it. So I'm glad I researched it. That's what's going on. Let me know in the comments if you're holding Cody for Cody V2. And if you think that the Ethereum privacy focused L2 narrative is going to be a big thing when the Ethereum ETF gets approved or as money flows into altcoins. All right. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.